yo guys, welcome back to another YouTube video with Tank Reaver today on World of Tanks consoles. That's right, boys and girls, and we're covering the Tier 2 German Light Tank, or so-called Light Tank. It's the Panzer 38H 735F, or PZA38H, uh, whatever you want to call this little buddy. But this is basically your mini mouse down here at Tier 2 for the Germans, simply because of how this tank is. But let's get into some of the stats. Uh, we'll see what the stats shows us, the armor and everything else, and the commander, along with also taking her out to a battlefield and see what she can do on a battlefield for us. Uh, yeah, let's get right into it, guys. Standardly, with the standard AP round, you get 41 meters of penetration. With APCR, you get 64 meters of penetration. And HE, you get 18 meters of penetration. With damage, you get 40 for both the AP and the APCR and 45 for HE. Hit points you get 160, not bad. And max speed is 42 miles per hour, which I had something here to increase the max speed. Uh, I would always would want to do that with this little thing. Uh, v range is 337 and concealment is 324. I really wouldn't worry about too much your concealment down here at this tier with this little burger. Be do because simply it's a tier 2 vehicle the camera factor is not going really, really too bigly, but, you know, that's the big thing about it. It is a premium tank, so yes. The, my equipment I put on here, I put a improved ventilation, crew performance 5%. I also put track system, max speed is 10%, chassis and hull rotation speed is 10%, and I put advanced powertrain, which max speed is 5%, horsepower is 5%. I mean, I probably would put this one here, but I probably wouldn't worry about the advanced optics or the advanced consumer do because those you have to be seen still and down here at this tier it's not going to happen too often so make it as fast as you can consumables I will put the repair kit, first aid and fire extinguisher if you want to put premium ones on here but that is going to cost you credits so I put 80 rounds of AP 10 rounds of APCR and 10 rounds of HE let's get into the commander of the tank 2 I only have two perks for him. I have rapid loading, temperature increase to your gun reload speed, and camouflage expressed. Uh, temperature increase to your vehicle's camouflage factor. Uh, I mean, what was put that point here? Probably not this. Probably six cents or situational awareness. Um, also, temperature increase to turn and gun rotation speed, uh, steady aim or snapshot. Or where is the other one I found? Uh, duh, 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 duh. I think I found one here that I do like the idea for the tank. Uh, not sure where it did it. Ah, well here it is. The off-road driving, 15% increase to handling off soft terrain, um, and 7.5 increase to handling on modified soft terrain. So. This is the ones I would think you would want to put in here, but maybe a little bit more. It depends on wherever ones you want to put in here. Oh, and let's cover the armor about the tank too. I almost forget about that tank. <laughs> that would not been good. Uh, get 10 meter sickness, which is the gun and the tracks, which got, again, tracks acts like space armor. So anything that's HE or heat will not go through that. But down here, this here, you really don't have to worry about heat rounds too much, but HE you do. 12 meter sickness, which is the belly of the tank, the engine deck, and the roof of the turret, and also these little flaps above the tracks. 15 meter sickness, which is around the gun mantlet, and this little bit in the back of the tank. A little thing with there, so wait, if it's going through a trench. Get 30 meter sickness, which is the upper graces of the hull. 40 meter sickness, which is the lower graces, the bit between the lower graces and the upper graces where the driver sits the sides of the hull it looks like the rear of the hull too and the sides and rear of the turret and the little kapoa so basically 40 meters thickness of armor all over and it's not just so much of the thickness of the armor it's just how it's sloped and all that and you get 45 meters thickness of that little bit right there so yeah that's a pretty strong area but it's not more of the thickness of the armor it's basically how the armor is basically sloped and all of that 
the spot I would say to shoot is if you see that little hatch right there with the uh, I think the commander sets but the commander I think is actually the loader and the gunner I think for this tank uh, but right there beside the gun you see that little hatch that spot's pretty much you can shoot at uh, if you have premium rounds loaded if not there if you have the penetration to shoot the little Kapoa but otherwise this thing is a beast at tier 2 it could take on huge amounts of tier 2 tanks it also has trouble taking itself out until you load the premium rounds or if you get to the sides and rear that's when you could actually do a little bit more damage especially if you're playing something that's not well armored but this is gonna be one of the most well armored tanks down here at this tier but you know what guys I think that's gonna be a talk enough talk about this little guy in the garage let's take her out we'll see what she can do and I'll see you guys on the battlefield so we're back guys on mines and yeah this was well I guess this kind of proves how strong this tank can be even kind of being outmatched in somewhat way and form and when you're probably thinking about that tank why are you saying that well look at that matchmaking we're bottom tiered this is a tier 3 game you would think that if we meet a tier 3 tank that we're definitely going to get hit and probably damaged but sometimes tier 3's could have trouble penetrating this little well tier 2 german light tank do I really want to call this thing a light tank down here in this tier? It's real freaking deadly. And there's another one on my team too, so... There's not really many things down here at this tier... That has the armor like this thing does. Um, it's just... I don't know what to say about it, but my team right, right there, I don't know if that's the bot. Because you will find bots down here at this tier. Um... But this thing down here at this tier is real strong and real deadly. The thing right there beside me, the AMX-38 right there, not that thing, that's a Italian tank. But the AMX-38 right there is actually another pretty tough tank. I did a review of that I think a long time ago. Well not that long time ago I guess, but it's been a while since I did the tank review on that little thing. And since then I've been posting a lot of other different videos. But we do lose a tank. Well, pretty soon two. Okay, we lost two. A medium tank and a light tank. And they only lost one. So far, a medium tank it looks like. Only one tank actually causes damage to me. And I will let you guys know which tank that is. I mean, as you see, this thing is not the fastest tank in the game. So its speed is a little bit questionable and stuff. We see our first victim, the Panzer 35T, I think that is. But one shot into him, that shot completely missed. Mm, that shot went to dead body. And I take him out. Okay. First tank dead. I want to go up on the hill, but I do see an enemy tank that has a French light tank or so called light tank. <laughs> Again, another one. We do track him, and. Well, there's already shooting at me. The only person that actually puts any actual huge amounts of damage into me. But I'm keep on missing this French tank. I probably should have switched the premium, but I want to show you guys that you can pen this thing from the side with standard. One pen from the hall, but that pen, that pen, and that just could be bounced. But two pens in the turret. Yeah, if you see right there where I aimed at, that's where you pin that French like tank the R35 um, right on the that side of the turn and that's basically the same way you do on the Panzer 38H but we come over here so we, we can support our teammates because uh, there's a BT7 over here just shooting our teammates up and probably even shooting well they did kill our artillery hoping artillery doesn't hit me again but uh, well yeah we do pin that shot on the move that shot completely missed that don't know where that went to. That pinned. Mm, that missed as well. We did that shot. I have that pinned. And that looks like a BT7. We spot the Stewart. We do pin one shot there. We bounce a shot. I don't know how that bounced. But we do pin the BT7 again. He's getting the cover. I just want to fight one enemy at a time. He is still fighting our team over there. And that Stewart is coming in. Well, he didn't really do anything except 
destroy my tracks. I put one shot to him. Pull him back because I don't know where this BT is at. He's over there. So let's come around. Let's show this steward that bounce. Or sure he's wanting me. Well, we killed the steward. Where's the BT at? I just the BT-7. A Russian light tank. You lock game. Oh, I can bring a miss. But I stop. It's actually in my shot. And killed the BT-7. You see how ridiculously armored this thing is. Um, that BT-7, I think that's actually the tier 3 Russian light tank. I'm not sure, but we came first on our team. And yeah, this thing is pretty strong, guys. Even especially when it's high tier. But, you know, that's going to be it for this one there, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like on the video. And subscribe to the channel if you guys want to. And like always, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye for now.